Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Monogatari. Um, turn on episode. What is this? Two of Z of Zoku Owari Monogatari. Ah, oh, what happened in the last episode? That's great. Let me just boom. You're like, oh my god, this is not the comments. I'm like, oh my goodness, too. That's kind of crazy. It's just Araragi looking in the mirror. Um, so what is even going on? That's a great question. We're gonna take a minute. We're gonna take a minute here. Why are we looking at Hachi old Hachikujis? Okay, 21 year old is not a cougar. Can I get this straight, Araragi? That's like three years older than you. Aren't you 18 right now? Or are you 17? Wait, how old is Araragi? It doesn't even matter. It's within like four or five years. That is not a cougar, okay? Literally, somebody got mad at me the other day for calling 35 years old a cougar. I was like, 35 is kind of a cougar. I'm down to clown. And like, I was told that's not a cougar. Bro, I'm 21. That's a cougar. That's 14 years, man. That's a long time. That's, that's, a, that, that, you know, whatever. That is so besides the point. Uh, let's actually lock in and get yapping. So, what happened last time? Basically, Araragi's in the mirror world. Oh, we also gotta look at the OP. Um, basically, oh, and the ED? Yeah, wait, that's crazy. Basically, Araragi's in the mirror world. He, um, looked at himself too hard and then got pulled into his reflection, basically. Uh, it's, well, his reflection doesn't even pull him in. He reaches out to touch it, and then it turns to water, and then he gets pulled in. So that's kind of interesting, just the specific way it happened. So he was more so lured in like a siren, where he was like, oh, what the heck's going on here? <clears throat> you know, kind of deal. So, you know, or like Loki, he put himself in there. Like, what am I going to say? Like, oh, he got trapped. Like, I don't know. He's put on a real show right here, but Loki on the sleazy, he just jumped in that hoe. He was like, oh, new world to explore. Okay, that's besides the point. Okay, actually focus. Um, He's in the mirror world now. Everything's flipped. Everything's reversed, including certain things like Karen's height um onanoki's like entire personality and Onan and um hachikuji's age that's basically where we're at and we're probably going to kamaru's house where the bath is Ooh, we're gonna get to see flipped kamaru that should be interesting um so yeah that's the, lo the long and short of it i did watch i did re-watch koyomi monogatari episode four on my own this is koyomi monogatari episode four um which which was the kamaru's bath reflection story um and i pretty much i i just re-watched it and took took a little bit of notes so the so I don't even really need to like scroll back through it, I don't think. Um, it's kind of, it was actually kind of surprising. It literally was like Kamru and Araragi doing the bath thing. And then it just cut to Senju Gahara like explaining it, like her interpretation of it. So I don't know, it was, I was expecting to hear it from Kamru, the story from Kamru, but no, 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 we actually hear the story from Senjo and she, or like from Araragi telling Senjo it. Um, you know, it, so that was kind of, I don't know, that was kind of funny how my memory was completely like caught off guard there where I was like, oh shoot. I was literally scrolling through this and was like, where's the story? And then it was it was over here. So um, the long and short of that, because that was referenced at the end of Zoku, this is Zoku again, um, is that Kamburu's dad, and this is, this is kind of, it, it's interesting because it's, this is, this is Senju Gahara's interpretation of events. And that idea of interpretation, I think, is very important to the point. So the idea is, I have it up on my other monitor. That's why I'm looking over here. Um, that Kamburu's dad is in the bath, like he's raised going to this bath or whatever. Um, or like looking in the bath, probably looking at his Johnson, right? And in the reflection of the water, the surface of the water, he sees, the story goes, he sees the face of the woman he'll fall in love with, Kamburu's mom, right? Um, and as he grew up, he stopped seeing that face um, because he grew up. And so he's, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, that was that's like the story on its own, right? Before I even get into Senjo's stuff, because that's the entire thing. But it's just, he saw the, the reflection of the woman he had fallen in love with with the water. Senjo Gahara was like, wait a second. What probably happened is that he, as he grew up, he stopped seeing her face. But the memory of seeing her face, oh frick, I'll just pull up the episode so I can be scrolling. The memory of seeing that face all the time was really cemented in his mind. And so... Then he met, then he met homegirl that he fell in love with, Kamaru's mother, you know, um, and retroactively adjusted, his memory was adjusted to it. Do you get what I mean? No? Okay, bet. Um, it's, I, okay, Frank, this is so hard to explain. I'm doing it again. I'm just explaining it again. Okay, lock in with me, lock in with me, okay? So, daddy, he's looking in the water. He see the story goes, he sees a reflection of the woman that he's going to fall in love with. However, in reality, he didn't really see that. Or, like, he might have seen it kind of or whatever. It's not 100%, right? He obviously didn't literally see the, the face of the woman. It's, it's, the entire point is that the haziness gets post hoc corrected by, like, a certainty, but then that's biased. 
that's basically what I'm leading to, right? So he sees he, he sees a reflection in the water. He remembers seeing sees, seeing a person's face in the water. Then he meets homegirl, falls in love with her, and then he's like, oh shoot, that's who I was seeing in the water. It's homegirl that I fell in love with, right? But in reality, that's probably not even what she looked like. Whatever he was seeing in the water wasn't really what she looked like. The haziness of the water on its own made him think he sees a woman, right? But the haziness of his memory is what makes him think it's Kamaru's mom that he saw. Where in reality, it, it didn't even look like her, is what Sanjuga Hara is saying, right? So the entire point is that as hazy as the water, the surface of the water is, so too were his memory that made this story seem like there was some element of fate going on. Some element of like, oh, he saw predestiny. He saw who he was going to fall in love with. No, you did not, okay? You just saw somebody in the water that you thought wasn't yourself because you, you, you didn't grow in like... It didn't have, you didn't have, you weren't at the age where tits were a thing yet. That's literally brought up secondary sex characteristics. And so since tits didn't exist, he was like, oh shit, who's this, who's this, who's this person in the water? Kind of looks like a woman. That's kind of crazy. And then only later with that memory so important in his brain, did he, did he make it post hoc retroactively to the, the idea that, oh, that's actually the person I fell in love with that was in the water. So that's the point there, right? <laughs> And the thing that's crazy about that is there's like two things going on. There's the element of like how, um, wait. Yes, there's the element of how what he saw repeatedly carried with him. So there, what I mean by that is he kept seeing a face in the water, right? So homeboy was like, dang, that's kind of crazy. That wasn't his own, right? But then as he grew up, he stopped seeing another face. And that because, you know, he was like, oh, shoot, tits. That means that's me, that's not a woman, because I don't have, I don't see any tits on this thing, right? So, but despite that, right, despite him growing up and seeing something and starting to, like, realize that he was actually, like, that actually wasn't going on, despite that, the memory of seeing another person's face in there was, was still there, right? So his, like, his previous experience, even if it was proved wrong by aging, is still biasing him currently, you know? That's that's the idea. That's one of the ideas going at play, right? Um, Senju took so long to explain it. Where she was jumping around, so I don't even remember freaking. Yeah, like this is the sex characteristics thing. Um, I'm sure someone would notice he stopped seeing a different face because he grew up. Uh, blah blah blah, and the hazy memories got inverted thing, right? <laughs> She's just yapping. She's literally doing this thing. She's doing the thing with her hair where it's like this. Okay, stop playing with your hair and keep yapping. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm talking to both me and Senjo. So yeah, that's one idea. That idea on its own, I think it's because because this is, you're like, why is this guy yammering about Koyomi Monogatari right now? We're in Zoku. Great, great question. Um, the reason I'm even bringing all that up is because Araragi brings it up about the Cypress bath in Computer's house. I literally was bringing it up like earlier in the episode because it like reflection, that's the only other time they really played with ref reflection that I remember. So it's like, okay, this is obviously important, right? They even show the bath. It's literally scene for scene the same thing, or shot for shot. I literally have seen that exact shot. Let me see if I can find it, because that's cool. Um, maybe like right at the start. Oh my goodness. I know it's in here. No, it's like further. I don't know. I'll just let it kind of play. Um, but yeah, so I'm trying to apply this to Araragi and where his headspace is currently at. So with that first idea, right, where I think that's it. Um... Uh, it is inverted. You can see it's inverted, right? I think you can see that. I'll, I'll click it so you can make sure. Yeah, there's like the two things and the lights, two things and the lights. Oh, wait. It's kind of... No, no, that's correct. Yeah. So yeah, that's just... It's it's cool that they inverted it. They got that right, at least. I didn't even notice that when I was watching it. But yeah, that's the bath. The, the playing the, Applying this to Araragi, though, <laughs> that point of the habitual seeing the other person's face in the reflection and how that influences like the current the move forward i think makes sense with Araragi because Araragi up to this point has largely been a vampire boy and now he's human again right the vampirism got subtracted out of him shot out math and that's super cool but the the question is then will that still bias me moving forward kind of deal right like this idea that through his experiences in this entire show that we've watched right? Even if he's just back to human, back to square one, you know, even if he's grown up and stopped seeing the reflection in the water, that doesn't mean that that won't change his thought process going, thought processes going forward, right? Um, 
so yeah, I think that could be like this whole reflection thing. Then could be like a, well, what? Then the whole reflection thing is a commentary on that. Because I'm I'm thinking homeboy put himself in here somehow, right? You don't just get trapped in a mirror world, all right? I've never been trapped in a mirror world, and I've done this stare down your reflection thing many times, all right? I'm used to that, but that doesn't mean that I'm, I, you know, I ain't been pulled in yet, right? Homeboy is pulling himself in, or like it through an oddity behavior. This is oddity type behavior, and oddity is manifesting out of Araragi here, right? I don't think like Nadeko Snake type somebody is sending freaking mirror world at him. I think this is coming out of himself. So then what? This reflection thing is a idea that he's like worried about how his adolescence of oddity stuff will like make hazy his future or right because that's then where the bias is kind of coming in i mean maybe right that's like how will these experiences i've gone through like carry with me type behavior you know how will my scars weigh me down business so i could see that i guess bro he's really wait he's twerking here Oh my goodness, somebody make a gif of or a gif of this where he's just going boom. Or, you know what I mean? Like boom, boom, boom. That is such a perfect gif potential for, for Monogatari. What am I yammering about? But yeah, so that's one thing. The other point of the story though is this point on storytelling and narration itself, right? Because it's a critique. Sanjo Gahara is get your foot off my screen. Sanjo Gahara is critiquing Sanjo Gahara's dad or Sanjo Gahara is critiquing Kamaru's dad. Um and how because she's saying that his hazy memories like of the of the bath thing were then adjusted to fit his new current perspective on because he had the woman he loved right so the hazy memories got locked into something that wasn't actually accurate because his current love of his life you know freaking got in his brain like that right so that point i mean immediately it's like it's a it's a point that the story that Kamaru's dad told is not necessarily the, the, as the events transpired even if he believes them to be they're still flawed and not like a perfect representation of what happened, you know? And it's like, oh, that's kind of crazy that Araragi brings this back up right after all this business about like, no, like we know you're the narrator to me, Araragi. You've commented on the act of narration previously in the last arc, you know, with the whole like me making it comical thing that he was talking about or, you know, however he described it then. But you've, you've commented on that before. So for him to at all bring up a story that has to do with narration immediately should be underlined um so blah 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 the events of the story as we've been told are biased the unclear parts the ripples are formed into clear objects due to Aragi's future perspective yeah so so i'm just reading <laughs> homeboy okay homeboy didn't have comments he's not doing the comments this time so he writes his own comments that's crazy <laughs> that's crazy that's what i'm pretty much doing here huh um because I'm literally reading it as if I've read a comment, but it's literally just my own words from like 20 minutes ago when I was thinking. But yeah, uh, that's just crazy. I've done this before though. It's not like this is new. Um, yeah, so I guess the point then there is like he's perhaps calling out his own bias, you know, which is, which is different. Because like one of them, that first thing I talked about with like his, the bias influencing his future actions, the murkiness influencing like his, his current perspective, right? where you are used to seeing a person's face in the water so that can perhaps do something i mean that could be like a crazy situation on like i'm used to being an oddity how can like how will that influence my life as i'm living it you know uh whereas this other thing is instead of it being present looking forward it's future looking back or it's not even future it's present on it's present you're telling the story talking back about the story you've told so one's future oriented one's past oriented right and this past oriented thing on narration on how perhaps the murky elements of the story up to this point have been adjusted have fit Araragi's current perspective is really interesting um so like what then the reflection world is Araragi being like yo wouldn't it be crazy if if Karen was actually shorter than me dude wait what the fuck wait that's kind of cooking is it not I feel like that's kind of interesting wait what is this dude this arc's about to break me don't break me. Okay, pause. I'm not gonna get broken. Oh my goodness, I have the perfect meme, but it's so not right tone, so I won't do it. Um, cause then, oh, that's really interesting. I need to, now I need to figure out how to verbalize it. Then it's a point of like, his current perspective is changing how the story 
his current perspective and the story he's currently telling may not line up with the events as they transpired because his current perspective will not be will will bias um the murkiness of his memories so his memories are are murky already and now we're just whatever i'm saying happened is just following whatever i currently believe um as opposed to being realistic right so then is like karen being taller or being shorter than him now in this reflection world being a like Aragi being like dang like what if she actually was shorter than me and i only think that she's that she was taller than me at the time right because of my current perspective so so like think about it this way right where up to this point like in bake or whatever or like nise or whatever when when karen's taller than him what if really so many years ago she was shorter than him which is what we're seeing now in the reflection world um but he only thought that she was taller than him during nisei because currently in in the narrator time she is taller than him right when he's actually telling us the story so that would be the idea of like he he's like in that way perhaps calling out like the the trueness of the story he's told you know what i mean where it's like maybe ononoki actually was a lot more a lot more expressive than i than i described and that's why in this reflection she's super expressive because he's like what if he's doubting his own story he's told and because he's doubting his own memory of the situation and so he's looking in the mirror reflecting on the his past reflecting on the story up to this point um and then is well because it wouldn't be okay no no i have to correct it wouldn't be he's he's reflecting on or it wouldn't be that he's doubting the story he's told because at the time of this he hasn't told the story yet you know i think the story comes later right i don't think the narration of the past events are like something happening during the timeline i think this is all happened the narration that we're hearing is all way later so it would be his memory and perhaps the stories he's telling himself rather than the story he's telling to us okay cl clear cleared on that so him looking in the, in the mirror, right, would then be him reflecting on all the shit that's happened and thinking like, what if my memory actually isn't accurate, right? What if, what if, you know, that what if, maybe that's the what if. That it's past oriented rather than future oriented, you know? What if Onanoki was more expressive than I remember her being? What if Hachikuchi was older than I remember her being? What if, what if Karen was taller at the time? right and she actually or was shorter at the time and she hadn't grown that tall yet and i remember her being taller but maybe i maybe she wasn't taller oh shit that kind of makes sense i mean that kind of makes sense with with because that's very that's literally based on kombudu's bath story right that hit that the future that the story of the past was biased by the future perspective that's where the fate that's why he's saying that he saw the love of his life homie didn't see shit okay homie didn't see squad all right watch my language um it's just that he thought he did because his memories were murky. So if Araragi's worried that his memories of, are murky of his time as an oddity, of, 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 of the time that we've seen up to this point, then him looking in the mirror would be him reflecting on that, right? Reflecting on his memories. That's why reflection is so crazy. Oh, there's also a really funny line. Um, in Koyomi, Senjo literally says, I don't remember, if, I don't know if I'll be able to find it, but she literally says like a mirror surface is not a mirror. All right, the water surface is not akin to a mirror. She literally says something like that, um, which is funny because way later now, a, a literally a mirror is what is occurring, you know? So that's pretty cool. Huh. That's pretty crazy. Calling out his own bias on telling the story is how I wrote it. But it's, it's less of on telling the story, I think, and calling out his own current bias on his memories is it would be my, my renewed um idea there that's really interesting okay uh other things i wanted to mention uh when araki gets pulled in he does yell for shinobu so shinobu is somewhat aware of what's going on right she she probably at this moment woke up freaking peeked her little head or like saw what was going on woke up from whatever she was doing saw him get pulled in the mirror because later we're talking about like oh we don't have any way to tell shinobu what's happening i think she's aware that he got pulled into the mirror that would be you know because she called for or because he called for her so let's remember that happened um Wow, this is crazy. That was I was not ready for that idea to, to come into action like that. Very interesting. <sighs> Calling out your own memories. Because, well, that, that, that also then explain, ex, it has some crazy influence on 
on the story he's telling us because our you know where it's like even if he believes these to be how everything happened that doesn't mean they're true you know but it's also a question of whatever on what degree he's obfuscating information on purpose bro's complicated anyways uh, um yeah one uh i did mention this already but the idea that like this entire mirror world like homeboy made it what do we like we know this branched off in a moment in time and that the, it opened up through the mirror at this moment. It's from Araragi, all right? Which is really crazy. because, Like, what else What else is it from, right? If it's not from Araragi in some oddity-type manifestation way, then what is it from? I ain't got nothing, all right? I think it's from Araragi, you know? Um, but then it's kind of crazy of... Then why are all these people here? Like, what? Like, like the logistics of the oddity I don't understand yet. Um... Perhaps this is something we'll get more information on, because I feel, I feel like they usually do that with oddities, where it's like, it's kind of vague at first, but then we realize the rules of how they function. I have no idea. Um, but currently, it's like, I think he made this in some degree. He manifested this through some sort of anxieties coming out of the, the last arc, you know? Because as much as things change, that doesn't mean it's a clean, a clean cut process. I still think there's a lot more to be done. Um... And so this entire world, like what, I think he had to have made it in some way, which means that all these characters are like manifested by him, question mark. I don't know. Maybe I'm smoking at this point, but like if, if it's not that, then what? It's their reflections that literally got pulled into this from their actual characters. Like Karen was just chilling in the other room, right? In the bathtub, let's say. Well, no, probably not. No, I don't know. Uh, cause did he, yeah, he just came out of the shower. Oh no, that would have been the bathroom. I don't know. Karen's just chilling wherever Karen's chilling. And then, yeah, I mean, even that, right? Cause I'm like, bro, he literally takes a shower and then immediately gets dressed, right? And then go in the bathroom. Wait, where's you doing the water? This isn't, okay, right here. So yeah, this is him in the bath. He takes a bath. Oh no, that's the sink. Oh, fuck, my idea broke. Never mind. Um, I was gonna do something cooking about how like Karen's reflection couldn't be based on her actual location at the time because she couldn't be in the bathroom because he was in the bathroom just now. But it doesn't work because he was just doing the sink, not the bath. Whatever. Uh, there's there's the idea though that like what are we saying? Like Karen was in the bathroom here and that her her reflection whatever this manifestation of her in the mirror world like literally manifested there and that's why she was coming out of the bathroom in the immediate next scene like she like why is she come out of the bathroom here does that mean she was in the bathroom we don't know where she was though it's kind of our problem because Araragi doesn't get woken up by them so i kind of low-key imagine that he slept in past well no they wouldn't be in school either at this point because they graduated right i think they all graduate at the same time whatever i'm getting lost in the sauce a little bit it's just without knowing the logistics of the oddity i just kind of want to throw it all onto um uh onto Araragi, which then it makes it really interesting like the scope of this like the scale of this oddity is so huge and it doesn't have something like oh time travel to like you know kind of escape or it doesn't even have shinobu's like manifestation type stuff to hide behind where it's just like okay homeboy like can just you know what's going on here that's basically what i'm saying there Okay, it's kind of crazy in the until we know the the laws behind this thing. I think it's crazy, basically crazy. Anyways, uh, there's a really important line from Hachikuji. Hachikuji says, I think it's here. Truth be told, the conclusion. Blah blah blah. Right here, right here, right here. Of course, you haven't changed either. Either or either. Take your vote. You've merely crossed over to this side. This line is crazy in context to what we literally were just doing. Because she's saying in reference to, like, you haven't changed in a mirror world. Neither the people nor nor the world have changed. Um, well, Let me just get the context. I think context is so important to make sure I'm not off base here. In other words, I love you. In other words. What is that song? Oh, it's, uh, wait, no. Hmm. I have no idea. Uh, in other words, Araragi kun, neither the people nor the world have changed. Of course, you haven't changed either. You've merely crossed over this side. Okay. 
the entire crazy thing is that literally last episode, or last, literally last episode, because this was episode one, so last episode freaking Oar, um, Ogi Dark, right? The entire idea was like, at the end, he was like, whether or not I've changed, I'm still me, or whatever he says. Like, even if I do change, I'll still be me. Whatever his end line was, I don't remember it verbatim. Um, so for Kachi Kuji to, and I know it's in context of the mirror world, but this, but just the idea of like Araragi changing immediately, I like kind of hyper focus on. And so to hear you haven't changed either, you've merely crossed over to this side. I mean, I almost want to say that that has some crazy important context for Araragi and like how he feels about himself in the real world, right? That he thinks that he's looking in the mirror and he's like, damn, I actually haven't changed, right? He actually like admits that to himself to some degree. And he's like, I've only, I've merely only switched over to this side. I'm like no longer on the side of the oddity on that side of the curtain to use, I think the, um, what was it? The metaphor from, was that Nisei? I think, uh, that the curtain idea was brought up. I don't remember exactly, but I think it was, I think Hachikuchi brought that up in Nisei, but I don't remember exactly. Um, the, for him to maybe be thinking to himself, like I haven't changed I'm merely just no longer on the oddity side because I'm human again would be really crazy because that's like saying that like him becoming human again isn't him changing, but it's just him switching location, right? Switching realms to say. So whatever he is, is something that is separate from his humanity or his vampirism from that gradient, you know? And I'm extrapolating a lot, so I could be completely off base, um, but just that line of, you haven't changed either, you've, me you've merely crossed over to this side, by Hachikuji, describing the mirror world that I think on some degree he fell into, like, like, purpose, like, well, was, led himself into, manifested, something like that, right? Because that's how oddities usually function. Um, is really interesting to me, especially when we just had an entire arc about him, like, him and Ogi and the idea of him having of him still being him even if he changed gets thrown in because it's like uh, it's if we take Hachikuji as him as Araragi like as like kind of true to Araragi that he hasn't changed he's merely moved like sides then that's almost like a step backwards from the even if I have changed I'm still me thing from the, from the end of Ogi Dark where it's like where we're returning to the idea that he's unchanging you know it's just that his location changes so I don't know. I'm, I, it's extrapolating a lot, but I, I but I wanted to bring up the focus just because the wording is so relevant to the last episode. Uh, um, um, is Aragi's ref oh yeah, this is a bro. Imagine this. Aragi gets pulled into the reflection. What if Aragi's reflection gets moved into the real world? I know homeboy wasn't moving, but like, what if as as much as Aragi gets gets thrown into here what if something was thrown from there into into the real world or something like that i just think that'd be really funny you know that Araragi's reflection is is like his mirrored self is running around in the real world like causing chaos <laughs> ogi ogi and him would be friends <laughs> that's also an cra entire crazy thing we're, we're dealing with this a whole idea of like Araragi stepping into the world of his reflection right where the the world that his reflection manifests in ogi it's like he's taking, he's, it's like he's looking into Ogi's perspective on things almost. You know what I mean by that? Like, and it doesn't really fit because it doesn't like fit perfectly because this entire world is like so different and it doesn't really have to do with judgment or anything like that. Um, you know what I mean? It's just kind of weird and like opposite, but the whole idea of like him going into a world where he's the same, but it's such a different world because of his perspective, because of his location, you know? when we came out of an arc where his shadow self, which you could almost describe as like a reflection, his like dark reflection or something, right? Has been wrecking havoc and such. I feel like it might be him trying to like see the world in a different lens or something, which is similar to what was going on with Ogi, where Ogi was obviously seeing the world in a, in a different lens. And obviously it was still his, his lens in a sense, right? Cause Ogi's him, but, but yeah. So that whole, I don't know, it just parallels with the Ogi thing really crazy. Reflects, I would almost want to say that this this arc so far is reflecting on on Awari Monogatari Season 2 in an interesting way. But yeah. Um, let's start looking at the OP, I think. Who's to say that Araragi should leave the mirror world is something I throw out. Like, what if somebody asks him for help in here? Where he, like, needs to, like, save Mirror Karen from getting eaten by a monster or something? Like, he's still gonna save Karen, even if it's Mirror Karen, you know? I don't... 
I don't think them being reflections or not, or it being the world of reflections or not, will change how it, he acts, which then begs the question of, like, um, to what degree does Araragi, like, m like, feel rooted to reality as opposed to the mirror world? You know, like, what makes reality different than the mirror world, other than, like, what makes it his? What makes it his world, that, as Hachikuchi describes? Just that he was born there? I don't know. But, yeah. Also, yeah, wait, dude, Kambaru's gonna be a monster. It's literally in the OP right here, where Kambaru's a, like a, a thing. Kambaru's a thing, bro. This is Kambaru Suruga Monkey. Yeah, the Kambaru in this world's gonna be a monster. Oh my goodness. Okay. Dang. All right, I can close my notes now and fully focus on what's in front of me. 07734. Notice the zero's the same. Um, I brought up the point of like language, like certain things won't get reflected last episode. I did, I did kind of, I think, you, like, somebody mentioned something, I think it was a Yosh, I don't remember, um, about how, like, maybe, like, the ink, like, using the, or I don't even know if someone mentioned it or if I just thought it. Who knows? You know what? I thought it. I, I don't care if someone mentioned it, it's my thought now. See, isn't that crazy? I literally just did the thing that the Kambadu's dad's story described. I've, I fell into that unintentionally and then noticed it near the end and then and did it explicitly. It, the idea that, like, my memory on where I got that information wa from isn't certain. And so my current perspective, my current bias of like, I'll just claim it as my own, then it changed how my memory was. That's correct. I literally just did the thing that the story's talking about. Like, it just came about. That's crazy. I am Aragi. Anyways. Um, yeah, but the point of like the, the Japanese language or whatever maybe doesn't actually have any things that reflect perfectly like in the language. Because I was making that point like in the mid game. Um, with like looking at these like tal like talisman thingy things on the wall um, about like, oh, look, certain letters don't reflect. But like maybe that's not the case in the Japanese language. Um, however, that would be the case in math with like zero, you know, like it looking just straight up at zero, which I'm pretty sure like Japan surely has the number zero as a thing, right? It's still the thing would it would apply here. That's the thought I had right here. So um, e even if it doesn't, even if like that whole entire tangent about like it doesn't matter, like even the, the point of like what they're doing here where they're showing the reflection of these numbers and they're all different except for three and zero. That's like, that's like giving a, a logical interp like a logical reason as to why Tsukihi didn't change. It simply, she like barely changed. Like her kimono was on backwards, but that's what she's wearing, you know? So that I think is cool. It, it kind of visually does that. All right, let's look at this. Have you ever seen like a plastic bag? That's not how the song goes. Oh, let me unmute it for myself. Okay. Um, Kamadu monkey. Kamadu's gonna be a monkey, dude. Have you ever seen the dark side of the moon? Uh, no, it's too dark. I haven't seen it. I've only, I'm only aware it's there because I know the moon's there because of the light side. I can't actually see the dark side. I only notice it. It's absence through pres, or it's presence through absence, bro. No, wait, that's not how that works, but, like, trust. <laughs> Have you ever seen the dark side of the moon? Continuation of the dream, lost to yesterday. Lost to yesterday because of memory? Or because of what? Why is it lost? Probably because of memory degradation, right? My possibilities. Okay, I was talking about this last episode, if I remember correctly. Um, about how this could be, like, an alternate path kind of situation with the mirror world. Possibilities factors into that. Okay, what is going on here? This is, what is this? Uh, that looks like Kiss Shot. That looks like Kiss Shot on top of the world. I'm on top of the world. Hey, you're not supposed to be in this world though. Maybe, I was about to say, what if, I was literally about to say, what if Kiss Shot is the god in the mirror world? No, it's Hachikuji still. We literally just saw that. Why is she in Disneyland? That is Kiss Shot, right? Yeah, she's got the Shinobu hair. It is. What's inside of him? I don't know. Okay, lost to yesterday is the word there. Lost to yesterday. The continuation of the dream. So we're repeating it, but we're doing it in reverse. Let me get that flashing there. How'd you like that? Right. Wait, 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 I'm tripping? Oh no, okay, it was like back and forth. Um, This looks like a schizo nightmare. Okay, this is me after the lobotomy. There's, like, gears inside of him. Araragi got gears in him, bro. He's also, like, what, splayed out? He's, like, doing one of these. Bro's doing the YMCA. Bro, there is no YMCA. Okay, why do you got gears? 
The dark side of the moon, question mark. Have you ever seen? Uh, okay. Have you ever seen? This is Nadeko being real nice to him. That's Sodachi. One-eyed Sodachi looking pissed. That looks like Kambaru in a bath. Maybe Kambaru isn't monkey mode? But what's this thing in the reflection? Wait, why is Sodachi and Nadeko in each other's reflection here? Love and hate. Both two sides of the same coin. Damn. Kambaru chilling in the bath. I, I assume that's Kambaru because it's a bath and it kind of looks like her with the shorter hair. Don't know what that other thing is. A car crash? <laughs> or a, I don't know, crumpled bike? Um, spooky thing and Sodachi. You know what's crazy? I just looked for hair right here in the hood. I just, because I had the thought, like, why are they reflecting Sodachi's mirror off of this monkey thing? Because the monkey thing, it could be, Kambaru could be a red herring for it to be Sodachi, because both are manifest, like, it could be an alternate representation of hate in some way. Because I'm thinking, like, Kambaru just hated Aragi. And it was born out of envy, and it was like, I'm gonna just go kill this guy. Sodachi hated Aragi. It was just came from a, such a different location. But yeah, so like maybe the rain devil, if we actually see it in this episode, isn't Kambaru, it is Sodachi. But the only reason I, like, I'm not super happy with that idea is because we're not seeing any hair right here. You know what I mean? Where like, I would, I would expect her to, her hair to be poking out a little bit or something out of the hood, but that's not necessarily a thing. It's just like, I don't know. Because what if this is like a mirror world where Sodachi got the got the monkey arm instead of Kambaru, you know? But why? No, but the entire point of Kambaru getting it is that it's based off her mom. So why would? Because this is obviously the monkey arm. I don't know. I could be just tripping there. It's an interesting idea. That'd be like a really funny inversion. Because yeah, then we have it's weird. We do like Nadeko. We did Nadeko Sodachi at the beginning. It looked like, and then now we're doing um, Hachikuji Hachikuji. So why was the first one Nadeko? Maybe it was representative? Or, um, I mean, Kambaru Nadeko, not Sodachi Nadeko. Kambaru Nadeko in the first one, I think Kambaru because it was in the bath. But then these other ones have been perhaps like more literal mirrors. Ogi, yeah, what if Ogi's in this, bro? Ogi would be really interesting to see here. Oh, boy Ogi, girl Ogi? Bro, oh, somebody, um... Um... There was a comment. I remember reading it. I don't remember if it was the last episode or the one before. I think it was the one before, which is why I'm going to bring it up. Because um, I, I haven't intentionally read any of the ones from last episode. Um, but this one I might have actually... I think it was from two ago, so I think it's safe. Something about how, like, Kamaru being... Or Ogi... Ogi is still a dude and was, and was affirmed as Oshino's niece, right? Which is feminine, as opposed to nephew, which would be masculine. So why is Ogi still... Or, or why is Ogi masculine in Hanamonogatari? So there has to be an alternate reason other than the Oshino business. And that's true. I mean, like, we still don't know how Ogi becomes masculine. But right here, we're seeing a masculine Ogi. So then the game plan is that Ogi becomes masculine because the... Because... Oh my god. What if we bring a mirror world Ogi into the real world? And so we have two fucking Ogis running. Oh no! What if that happens? I kind of... I kind of see it. Could you... Dude, could you imagine... Because look, we got Masculine Ogi for the first time chronologically appearing in this OP as a reflection of Feminine Ogi, you know? So what if Masculine Ogi is the Ogi of this world? Because I didn't even think about Aragi's shadow self's reflection, you know? Ogi. Ogi's reflection could exist here. So yeah, Ogi is masculine in this world and then somehow Ar and then somehow follows Aragi out of this world. Probably Aragi b willingly brings Masculine Ogi because he's like... My alternate rea my alternate possibility self, right? I still must grab every part. I'm not going to abandon anyone. I don't freaking I don't know. I don't know why he would. Because we haven't met Ogi in this world yet. But Ogi being masculine and then being brought to the real world, being an explanation for Hanumanagari would make a lot of sense. But why would you want to leave me going down this rabbit hole based off of one second in the OP? But why would Ogi be brought into the real world as opposed to the mirror world? Because Ogi originates... The reflection Ogi, masculine Ogi, in this hypothetical originates in the mirror world. Um, so you would you would you would perhaps think that like she he should remain there, right? Um, whereas 
which was kind of the point made about like Aragi, you should return to your original world that Hachikuji made. So why would you leave? I mean, there could be any sort of reason, right? It could be like, there is no Araragi in this world. I only exist as like an opposite to Araragi. I don't have an Araragi to like make fun of, to like get mad at, to judge, to criticize. I'm built off of self critic of self criticism, and you are so you are the thing I must be self critical of. Um, oh my goodness. And so therefore, I need to stay with you because if Araragi, if you leave the mirror world, then I will be left alone. So in that way, then Araragi is like, fine, Ogi, of course you can come, right? And then Araragi becomes, um, he becomes self-critical. The, the kind of meaning of this situation where we would have two Ogis running around would be Araragi being self-critical of both the actions he's taken, feminine Ogi, and the actions he could have taken, the alternate choices, the possibilities, as said by the OP, masculine Ogi, in which case... Him leaving to college is a way for him to cover both bases because he's never going to, he's going to do as many things at once as he can, right? He's never going to give up on one thing because he needs to save another, right? Well, he'll, he'll send Kambaru to do it as we saw in, um, whatever the arc was, right? Where he, where, um, everybody got saved, right? Where Hachikuji got saved or freaking Hanakawa got saved and he still dealt with Seishiro, right? That, that whole business, right? So he, he always does both. That's how Araragi works. He always does both. So what if him grabbing masculine Ogi here in the mirror world and bringing it to the real world is a way for him to be like, oh, I have to leave this city or I'm going to leave this city. I have the choice between me to leave this city with Senju Gahara or stay in this city with everybody else. I'm going to do both. I'm going to leave with Senju Gahara physically. Feminine Ogi will come with me because feminine Ogi is self-critical of me. It's my doubts of what I'm doing. It's my self-criticism for my actions. But now I'm also going to be self-critical of the alternate possibilities that could have been. It's no longer that I'm just responsible for the actions taken. It, it reminds me of that shot in um, Mayoi Hell, right? Where he was like walking up the staircase and there were all the branching paths or whatever. Um, and he was like talking about like the alternate ways things could have. I don't know if he was talking about that, but it reminds me of that shot, right? And so masculine Ogi is the way for him to be accountable for the things that, that never happened to cover both bases. So masculine Ogi would stay in the town while feminine Ogi leaves. So he got, he covers both bases. Okay, that idea works so well. I'm taking it as canon. I don't care. <laughs> no, I'm playing. But no, that idea is actually cooking. Um, Cause I feel, man, if masculine Ogi exists in the mirror world, then I 100% am like, okay, that's what I under, dude, I'm inside of this show because guess what? This show is inside of my mind because guess what? I am Aragi. Oh, bro, I put these on backwards. Wait, how do these work? Okay. <laughs> he will he will spit bars. I'm gonna just master be, be masturbatory. I'll spit bars about monogatari and then forget how to put cell phones on. The duality of man. Alright, see so look, now we're getting reflections of Onanoki. <sighs> Sengoku. No, so Sengoku looks different. Frick, go back to the beginning. Or like midway point. Back, back, back here. So is this supposed to be so dachi then? Because every other reflection thing going on has been two versions of the same self. So so dachi in this world is really nice on the surface, but then her reflection is like mischievous, right? But she doesn't have the hair in this shot, but she could have cut it, but her spirit still has her hair, other hair. Because look, I, I mean, both of these being so dachi makes sense because then look, both of these are Kambaru, Kambaru and a, and a bunch of scrap metal. Okay, it's starting to fall apart. But the rest of these are both people. Well, but no, then we have Sodachi. Oh, no, is that Kambaru with the long hair? Oh, frick. No, that's not Sodachi. That's Kambaru with the long hair because Sodachi has four. I was off base earlier. Right? These silhouettes are so hard for me to read. Yeah, Sodachi has four. So no, that's Kambaru. So the first one's Sodachi. That idea of Sadachi being the monkey, though, would be pretty sick, would it not? It's not, it's not, it's not happening. It's not happening. Who is this, then? I don't know who this is, but then, okay, so the first one's Sodachi both, I think. This one's Kambaru both. Yeah, that's Kambaru. I just, I'm so used to her with the shorter hair. Because she, didn't she have the long hair, like, way long ago before she got it cut? That was so long ago. Right? Didn't she? Yeah, she did. Oh my goodness, I hate remembering things. It's so hard. Um, then we have both Hachikujis. Yeah, they just, they're two duality. They're duality. So, so Dachi's gonna be all friendly and weird, right? 
I guess we're... Wait, are we going to see Sodachi? I mean, she's in the OP. Wait, run it back. Surely we will then. You're, well, but who is this? Okay, big tits. It's Hanakawa. Don't say tits. That's demeaning. Big breasts. It's Hanakawa. Okay, bet. Wait, are we going to see all these characters? That'd be so sick. But this doesn't even look like Sodachi. I'm getting stuck. All right. I'm assuming both of these are Sodachi. I'm assuming both of the, these are Hanakawa. I'm just going to make that assumption. We've seen her doing a bathing scene before. Um, Chillin', I'm pretty sure. I don't remember. I think in Kuryomi, the one I just watched. And then this is both Kambaru. This is both Hachikuji. This is both Ogi. I think we're taking masculine Ogi with us to the real world so that Aragi can be in two places at the same time and also so that Aragi is self-critical both of the actions he takes and of the alternate possibilities, even if they didn't actually happen. Shout out the beginning of this OP. Shout out the lyrics. We're running it all the way back. Have you ever seen the dark side of the moon? Right? Big. Next one's important. Wait. Next. Continuation of the dream. Okay. Next. Lost a possibility. Lost a related over Say it. My possibilities. Right? The possibility is the thing that actually didn't occur. That's what masculine Ogi represents. Bet. Oh my goodness, the show is so good. <laughs> the amount of just I can un, I can ramble like an unhinged madman, and I see and I think it makes some semblance of sense, some semblance of sanity, bro. Shout out semblance of sanity, I guess. I just it's a habit. I started saying that the other day. The other day being like a year and a half ago. Sengoku. The sisters, yeah, their reflections. Okay, so this is very literally the real world and the not real world because Karen's taller here and so Kiki looks the same, right? So in the reflection, she's taller. So the way we can apply that is that this indeed is, this is mirror world Sodachi, right? Being all nice with the cup of tea, which also means we're going to meet mirror world Sodachi unless this is the only we get to see of her, but I, I kind of don't think so. It's such a cool opportunity. I feel like we would see everyone. What, am I wrong for that? Like surely... Wait, but then who? The, what the hell happened to Hanakawa that she's a bunch of scrap metal in the real world? Wait, who is this hoe? Wait, are you... No, this is a dead woman. This... No, is it gone Toei? Wait, is it Kombudu's mom? Oh, this is Kombudu's mom. Because she's dead in the real world. Oh my goodness, right? Yeah. And didn't she die in a car accident? Was that, was that the case? Kaiki, I forgot. I'm sorry. I think she died in a car accident, right? Or did she kill herself? I don't remember. Frick. It's in my, it's in one of my old pieces of paper that I, that I think are long gone. I don't have them with me. I bet I had the, her cause of death. I can see it in my freaking mind's eye, but I don't remember what it was. This is Kompudu's mom. Oh. Oh. Bro, I freaking have changed my mind on this like seven times with this one. <laughs> this is so bad. No. Stop. Get to it. Sorry. Calm down. Take a breath. Take a sip of something. Bro. People complaining about me being slow on this episode, by the way. This is so I can cook, bro. I gotta take breaks between these hosts so that I can actually cook, bro. This is both Sodachis. We're gonna meet Sodachi. She's gonna be really sweet. It's gonna be her mirror to how she was. What if in this world I actually mean she didn't hate me because the reason that she hated Araragi came from certain circumstance. This is the Sodachi that actually got helped by Araragi. The one that Araragi actually helped didn't accidentally not help, right? When she was calling for help. This is the, that's the, this mirror world Sodachi. We're gonna meet her, bet. This is Kambaru's mom, who in the real world is dead. In this world, she's not dead. We're going to the bathhouse. Look, we literally see the bath icon. So yeah, that's Kambaru's mom, 100%. This is Kambaru, right? She's still a monkey in this world because she still has the generational trauma from her mother actively impressing on her because her mother's still alive. Right? Hachikuji is self-explanatory. We've already seen that. Ogi, I've already talked about. We're bringing Ogi with us to the real world. This is Hana, this is how Hanamonogatari happens. Um, Onanoki, we already have seen that. It's self-explanatory. Sengoku, we haven't seen yet. She seems similar, maybe more confident. In both, she has her hair cut the same way, though. And she doesn't have snakes in her hair in, in Mirror World. Um, notice how there is a reflection for Adaragi in all of these. So that makes me almost believe that Adaragi... Well, is, I almost just said, is Adaragi enough of a... Is Araragi the type of guy to really have a replicant of himself in the real world? No, I don't think so. I think there's only one true Araragi. I think he needs that to be the case. So I don't think there... Is there a reflection of Araragi running around in the real world? In this OP, there is. In reality, I'm not sure. I'm doubtful. I don't think Araragi would literally multiply himself, which is why he needs masculine Ogi um, to do the job for him. This show... Bro, this shit easy, bro. I'm there. Trust. 
I'm just gonna get overconfident now so that I fall from grace and that's really interesting later. But siblings are self-explanatory. This is Hanakawa. Hanakawa's a kid, bro. We're getting kid Hanakawa again, bro. Why? Is that kid Hanakawa? She looked tiny, bro. That doesn't even make sense chronologically, bro. She still got the cat pin in her hair. So yeah, this is Hanakawa. Cool. I guess we'll just have to see what's going on there. She has one glasses on. She got a monocle. What the hell? She almost looks like Kid Hanakawa. And then and then Araragi hits him with the starts doing the gritty. He's literally doing the gritty. Um, your possibilities, my possibilities, yammer yammer. This dude, this OP is ooh good imagery. Falling into your own face, falling into your own reflection. Relatable, relatable, bro. Literally me. Oh wait, this doesn't work. Wait. Now there's just two of me on the screen. For some reason, I thought I'd do the infinite OBS trick. No, but it's literally me, right? Like the amount of times as the, like, I'm, I'm, I'm building to something here, trust. Me looking at my own reflection is like a really big, like a really crazy experience for me, which is like th this imagery of like, we're diving into it. It's like we're falling, right? It's, I think Araragi falling into his reflection in a sense, him staring at himself here. Bro, I do the thing, I used to, um, I used to do this thing a lot where, Right now, I share a bathroom. Fun fact. So I haven't done it recently because I don't want to get jumped while I'm staring at myself in my mirror. But no, I've literally stared at myself in the mirror with the lights off for easily 20 minutes. Probably longer. I don't remember. Um, who cares? I can just make things up. Memories are hazy. But no, I will like th that experience of just looking at yourself and being like, that doesn't even feel like me. Who is that guy? I get that continuously, bro. I get that I get that little jab in my brain continuously recording because guess what's on this monitor for me? It's myself. It's my own face, right? Because I always kind of have these things up so I can glance over, make sure I'm recording, make sure the audio is coming through, et cetera, right? Um, Cause sometimes things go wrong and I, and so I always be kind of keeping a slight peripheral in case something starts freaking out, right? Um, Yeah, and so I'm very used to seeing my own reflection and it also doesn't really feel like me a lot of the time, right? Like it's like, who the heck is that guy, you know? It's, it's this crazy idea where it's like, if you, you look at yourself in the mirror and like, like, I don't know. I, I, I at least look at myself in the mirror and I feel like that's not ref fun. That's not reflective of who I am or, you know, whatever. It's like, that doesn't feel like me. Oh, it's like when you look at a picture of yourself and you're like, bro, that don't even look like me. I get that in the mirror, right? Where like, it doesn't just, it doesn't look like me, you know? And so that sensation of falling into that is very reminiscent of that for me. Um, and then all, like the, the craziest thing, cause let's jump to the episode. It's been an hour. It hasn't been quite an hour, but I've been going for more than an hour because, you know, I was pre-gaming this hoe. I got to pre-game this show. So I've been going for like an hour and a half. But anyways, um, just re-watching Kiyomi. It wasn't probably an hour and a half. It was probably an hour like 10. But who cares? Um, What was I saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the experiences with me looking in the mirror as I get Owari 2, it's already ready, uh, is I see I see my skull. Like, like my eyes start to fade out. And I see my skull, like, because like, you've seen an image of a skull before, right? I, like, see my, I see my head as if it's a skull. And, right, it, like, it's, it's weird. It, like, it makes me, like, be like, oh, shoot, I'm gonna die one day. Like, the face I'm seeing will be the face on my corpse. You know what I mean? And so it's like, and my corpse isn't me. So my face isn't me either. But it's the closest thing I have to represent me, I suppose, to other people. I don't know. If my face isn't me and my words aren't me, then what am I? My actions? Am I just my actions? I don't know. Who cares? Anyways, Owari Monogatari Season 2. Let's get this going. Or Episode 2 of Zoku Owari Monogatari. I'm feeling pretty good on this. I'm feeling pretty good on this. Let's get this going in a 3, a 2, a 1. Bang. Why are you clapping? <laughs> of course, reminder, pip in the description. Timer bottom left. Um, if you're trying to cue something up, you know, while you're down there in the description, hit your boy with a like, hit your boy with a sub, you know. I know we real late in the game for Monogatari, but it really, like, it really does help the channel. You know what I mean? Ooh, we're seeing bike. We're seeing two people on the bike, it looks like there. That's cool imagery. One person there. Two, arrow, one. Weird. Weird, 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 weird. This is a really, re really interesting OP. I feel like this OP spoils a lot. Loki on the Schleazy. I feel like I've obtained so much information, right? About masculine Ogi, about Kambadu's mom being alive, right? Like all these things just kind of have to be true because the OP tells me. And I saw it because your boy, your boy watched that and went slow, right? So Kambadu mom, definitely alive. We're about to go meet her. This is going to be a crazy experience. Kambadu definitely rainy devil still because she hasn't gone over that, right? It's blue instead of red, isn't it? The Oni changed. 
the the color the color changed. This is a crazy shot. I already I already rewatched Koyomi, bro. You don't gotta. <laughs> I'm already there on it, bro. My hair looks so bad right now. Oh, she about to be involved any minute now. Yeah, it would change everything. So it's crazy that she alive right now. Oh, that's... So he's putting that together right now. Okay. Well, because he's saying it would be different if she was around, right? And that'd be a... We'll see. Let's just see what happens. Imagine talking to real world Kamburu through the water. Oh, that would be cool. That'd be a cool callback. But the entire point from Central Gahar's intention was that it isn't actually someone else. So, like, you're kind of playing with weird things here. <laughs> isn't erotic, isn't a masochist, isn't vulgar. You mean never got over her trauma, bro. Not that she's over it in the real world, but. Yeah, she's, li okay, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. She a monkey, bro. That's what you saw in her reflection. Yeah, we're there on that. That was literally in the LP, trust She tripping. Yeah, she never got cured in this world, bro. Are you okay? I feel bad for her. Okay, so Dachi, chill. <laughs> Wait. No, it is Kamru. No, I'm getting confused for my stupid thing from earlier. But that's exactly how Sodachi talks. No, it's Kamru. It's Kamru. Is that Kamru's voice? Wait, no, what? It wouldn't make any sense if it's not Kamru. I don't know what's going on, and I'm scared. The Great Wall of China. Because Kamru did say, did Kamru say, hey, hey, hey? I don't remember. I think she did. She did. Trust. Let's just trust. Whammers. And in the OP. It's a reflection. It's a reflection. Did she not get reflected? Wait. You were taking the craziest time to think about this. What was... Uh, no, way! it doesn't make sense for it to be Sodachi because the OP. Unless we really flipped it. Because I, I don't remember... What is Sodachi's hand? Is she right-handed or left-handed? No, no, wait, no, no. The monkey paw is just... No, the no, no, monkey paw. Why are we laughing? Oh my goodness, it's getting crazy. That's Hanakawa. She's still white cat. Wait, I thought you were cute in the OP. Oh, the OP cannot be trusted. The OP cannot be trusted. Yeah, the cat. Or how big is she? Is she small? She got different... Why are you laughing? No, she grown. Okay. Meow at me, Aragi. Bet. Meow. Now meow. Oh, she full meddlesome, bro. Why save us? Why save us, Black Hanakawa? What is going on with the rainy devil? It's It's gotta be Kamru. I'm just confusing myself. It would make sense. Yeah, I'm just confusing myself by... The, I hate, the hate thing was throwing me off because I associate this so much with Sodachi. No, yeah, this makes sense. This makes sense. No, it's a reflection, bro. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. We got... Kamru's monkey mode. The OP that follows with the OP. Hanakawa is black Hanakawa mode. Also makes enough sense with the OP, I think. It's a little strange, because... But whatever. Are they smaller? Okay, let's move on. Oh, are they flip the bigger one is flipped? Usually her left one's bigger? Ah. Okay. Oh, the imbalance remained the same. Okay. Uh, okay, so Kamburu's hand didn't get mirrored. Neither did her breast size. I am starting to get it. I'm just spinning off too much. I'm, I'm cooking too hard and I'm burning food. It's okay. Chill. Don't grip her chest. Lock in, Araragi. The oddity stuff doesn't flip very well. Because Tsuki, Tsuki, he didn't flip. And neither Kamburu or Honokawa in this mode flipped. Ononoki did flip though, which is really weird. Mm. 
Nah, it's crazy. These visuals are crazy. They feel so like de like deja vu in a weird way. I don't know. Oh, she's smart. Oh, damn, that sucks. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Kamdu's mom is alive. Okay. Um. <laughs> don't slide towards my face, please. Don't do that. Yeah, she in, she in chaos mode. And that is Kamburu. Which makes sense with Kamburu's mom being alive. Is my guess. This <laughs> is a crazy line to say out of context. That's what, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, bro. Good question. How did you know? Why were you there? You can't just pass. Okay. Don't try to solo the encounter. Senjo? Because it's not Shinobu. Okay, I despise you, but. My god. Maybe one of the um, specialists sent her. Okay, she still got the quotes. She still got the quotes. I was curious if she if she still had the quotes. Ooh, nice like light reflections. That's super cool. Very fitting for the mirror stuff. Oh, he freaking. That stayed the same. Okay, that stayed the same. Yeah. They're like development or like they're like them being an oddity. Yeah. Which means they can they still need to be helped. Oh no. Let's see if he cares. Yeah, cause she Good question. Hey, he said he was kidding. He said he was kidding. Thanks, Adaragi. Bro, who are you about to drop? George Washington. I can't read that. It's flipped. Oh. Let me look at his history. Was all the text mirrored and so you couldn't read it? You can still read it. It's just going to take a while, bro. Just flip it in your brain. It just took too long, bro. I was like, this this should go take forever. <laughs> bro, just said that's skill issue, Adaraki. I mean, I was having the trouble earlier, so I kind of get it. But reading an entire history book would be tough. Okay, who are we gonna meet up with? Senjo wasn't in the OP, so she's not gonna be. Senjo's not going to be in this arc. Her flip. Araki doesn't want to see her alternate path. I guess. What is going on? Or maybe I'm completely wrong. Imagine if she was just right there. That'd be so funny. No, wait, who is this? Who the hell is that? Is, it, is that so... That's Sodachi, because she has the short hair now. So now she lives with us instead? Oh, we adopted her. Okay, bet. Okay. Nope, nope, we're there. Bro, the short hair freaked me out. And now she's all sweet and kind. You're my girl. You're so different. Yeah, you're so different without your hate going on. That's the OP diff, bro. OP diff. Yeah. You don't even sound like you. You crazy for that. Don't stop touching me! You're not real. So yeah. So he's seeing like the better, the better ending for Sodachi. 
Okay, I'm wrong for this. I low-key just shipped them, and I'm wrong for that. I'm I'm sorry. But like, you know what I mean? That's like a, such a that's such a rom-com plot. I saved this girl from her abusive household, and then we got raised together, and we're the same age, but she's not quite my sister, but we're like family. That is such a rom-com. Like, that's begging to be a rom-com. Where they actually fall in love, like childhood friend, that you know what I mean? Yeah. That's a trope. But yeah, so... We're gonna... Aragi's like, what are you bro... Yeah, math puzzles, you're crazy for that. Um... We're not gonna see Senjo in this arc, though, because the OP doesn't show Senjo. <laughs> I put it together, bro. You shouldn't have given me such a... There we go, bro. Like, come on. <laughs> yeah, so we adopted her. So, but dang, Aragi's like, shoot, this other world, this could have been of where we adopted her. He's gonna start... Is he gonna regret how things turned out where he didn't get to get raised with her. He's like regretting what could have been and that's masculine Ogi. Ogi's reflection. And he's going to bring that with him in the real world. He's just self-critiquing him. He's doubling down on self-critique. Oh my goodness. You're accepting too much self-criticism now, Araragi. You're going to... You know what I mean? Like we're already dealing with enough self-critique from freaking normal Ogi. I don't know if you can handle doubling it, bro. So, Dachi, this don't feel like you. This ain't the you I fell in love with. I'm, I'm gonna be real. You're just another... You're fake. You're fake. You're not real. Just like Hachikuji. I, adult Hachikuji isn't Hachikuji. I don't care. This Sodachi ain't Sodachi. I don't care. People are their experiences. You can't just make new experiences. Imagine what things could have been. Dude, alternate paths are as foggy as memories, bro. Because no one actually knows what would happen, but people love to assume things. He's assuming alternate paths. His current desires are cementing them into what actually, into not necessarily being reflective of what actually could have been, bro. Oh my goodness. I promise I'm reading all this. They're talking about Euler and, and different things getting mirrored or not. It's not happening to historical figures. I'm freaking there, bro. Her lips. Sorry. Shut up. We're not doing a rom-com. I called out this trope. We're not doing it. A cube. It's pink. It's pink. It looked pink. It looked pink in that lighting. Or maybe I just only wanted to think that. I only wanted to think that because I'm biased to think it. It's literally calling back to that thing right there. How many times? I would argue we can't double down on self-critique, bro. You're gonna, you're gonna get crushed under that weight. You can't think about what could have been. That's cute. That's adorable. I love that. We were raised together. But then why am I feeling this kind of- Okay. Aww. That's cute. You're not real. Sorry, let me take this- Let me emotionally invest a bit. Uncle and auntie? That's mom, Mama Ragi and Dad Ragi. Because you are family. Except we're not by blood, so we can make out. Rom-com. Bet. It is, it is, Aragi. So don't take, if it's all a lie, don't take your self-criticism with you for, for the lies. If you're aware of it, bro. If you're aware that it's, if you're aware that it's all, I'm like, uh, that's crazy. I'm judging you for actions that haven't even happened yet. I'm just judging them based on my assumption of what will happen because I saw masculine Ogi in the OP and I've completely locked it in 20 steps forward. That's masturbatory. This isn't lazy writing is masturbatory. I was masturbatory earlier. We're masturbatory together. You trying to master- okay. Worst sound I've ever made. My One of my favorite tracks are playing right now. My headphones are dying. I heard the beep. Looks like you weren't successful in your search. Boom, get it in there, man. I have a plan. Oh my god. Chill out, don't molest me. Who's a... Oh, she's still a snake. Oh, you tricked me. I didn't see any snakes in your hair, so I, I thought... Okay, so she's still snaking. Thank goodness. Okay, so she got snaked, but then Hachikuji also became god. That's crazy. Didn't see that coming. I was expecting to see snakes, snakes in her hair, so I got thrown off. Oh, she got crazy. She weirdly developed. So she back in her oddity form. So Kikiki was always in her oddity form. The previous god. No. Why are you shaw-shawing? 
The cat was right. Okay, so maybe she sent the cat? How'd you, could you stop trying? Yeah, what are you doing? You are not a winker. Can't follow what I'm saying, can ya? The way you talk is so annoying. It's literally just like a Tory that like five minutes there, you know what I mean? Where she was all weird. Oh my goodness, so. What are you doing? Hachiguji, you're not real. Uppercut. Like, are you kidding me? Stop molesting me. This entire place is him thinking too much. The entire mirror world is him thinking about alternate things that could have been. And he's gonna bring something. He's gonna bring Don't bring a mirror ogi with you. Do not bring mirror ogi with you, or I'm gonna lose my mind. If you accept that it's all fake and that it's and you listen to the the water analogy from Kamaru, then you have to not hold yourself responsible. Smiley emoji! You have to not... Don't call her Kuchi no Wawa. You can't... I can't focus. Let me focus. I can't, I, I'm trying to do it both. I can't do it both. I'm... Keep... My goodness. Why? Is it the, the skin part? Or... What? Okay, stuff I would never know. <laughs> A bunch of Japanese mumbo jumbo that I don't understand. Bet. Okay, bet. I didn't know that either. Bet. You got fruits and fish. Give me the food. Fruits. Give me the fruits. I don't want the fish. Give me the fruits. Drink the sake. I'm not divine. What was on that? Oh, bubblegum? Are they little candies? I don't know what those are. I've never had a lot of Japanese food. Only a little bit. Bro just said, let me get an apple. Give me an apple, bro. I swear, if you bring Miraoki with you, I'm gonna lose my mind. That's all I can think about. It doesn't have an it. Your reflection doesn't... Okay, sorry. Let me calm down. Let me calm down. There is an it to the reflection because it's a... You know what I mean? But, like, not to the point of being a literal thing that you need to take responsibility for, my guy. My goodness. You're so... Just answer my questions, bro. What, yeah. Give me the... That's crazy. Well, it's it shows how you're perceived by others, I guess. You know what I mean? No, but the truth is vague. The mirror's vague. Yeah, like, like come on. I don't like that implic I don't like that sentence, Kuchi and Alwam. I don't like where this is going. True, I mean it is his perspective. It is based on perspective. You're the alien, right? But you're also giving credence to the to the mirror world as being something that can self-affirm its own correctness, which is why he's gonna bring Ogi with him, because he thinks it deserves it, because the alternate the alternate paths are just as real as the real path. That's not the case. That's not the case. <laughs> you get what I mean? You can't do that. You know what I mean? They can't affirm it. This isn't a real place. It's a lie. This isn't true. No, you're the reverse. I disagree. I disagree. That's the problem. No, it is an illusion. The alternate possibilities aren't real. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do what? What is he gonna do? I just, like... Unfortunately, I'm still me. No, 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 no! This is a... I'll always be me, even if I change type business. Type, type B. I'm gonna lose it. Stop playing chess! I'm, I'm paying attention, I promise. Just calm down. Oh my goodness, I'm the chess piece? Facts. No limbs. That's kind of true, though. I thought of that when I was thinking limbs, but but limbs can... Re limbs reflect, too, so that doesn't even point. That doesn't make sense. Shut up. Smart. That's actually smart. 
So, okay, they, so it does. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, I was yapping about that earlier. Bet. Good move. This world is not real, bro. Shut up. Stop doing drinking. Stop drinking. Focus. They would just be scribbles. Our perception defines reality and our reality defines perception. Blah, blah, blah. You wouldn't realize they're flipped, yeah. Good catch. You wouldn't even know that. The mirror wouldn't help. Because then you would think that the, the, the real is the reflection. Because the thing you're first exposed to is the reality. But guess what? The difference is reality actually occurs. It doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Dream. That was sick. Oh. They turn people inside out? Oh, Hachikuchi's an old soul. You're crazy for that. That's why they did that silhouette business in the OP. Cause she the same all the way through? Mm, she no jawbreaker. Yeah, she don't got it. Yeah, she just won. Was that a jawbreaker? No, it wasn't. <laughs> But what's my inside out? Was that the end? I didn't even look at the ED, I just realized. <laughs> I got too distracted by the OP, I didn't even look at the ED. Like this, bro, it's not real, Araragi. This place is, the, the, the alternate paths, the inside out, no, shut up. It's not real. You don't need to take responsibility for it and bring Ogi with you. Don't do that, bro. Could you imagine double Ogi running around? I'd lose it. Man. So, so Dachi, we were on. Sengoku still being a god. Nope. Didn't see that coming. I just didn't see the snake, bro. I didn't see no snakes. She didn't have snakes, to be fair. And it, it wasn't color, so we couldn't have known. But, GG. Uh, it's like, I think it's playing with the fuzziness of alternate, alternate paths, right? Where it's like... I was just told her to shut up. Who's singing this? Shut up. I'm gonna say it. But you know what I mean? Like, I wanna be Kampadu's mom. That'll be fun. Will Hanakawa turn out of being a metal cat? Is she still going both ways? I think she is, right? I don't think she... Because, she, look, she had, we see in other... We see in other Hanakawa. This is just how she's dealing with her stress. So there's still a normal Hanakawa we'll meet later. So, Aragi. Man, saying inside out is crazy. Because, no, it's alternate. It's not inside out, bro. The, the, the inside out of Sodachi, like... It's a bunch of true self mumbo jumbo nonsense, bro. No, you're your experience. I don't even care. I mean, I'm probably wrong, but there's not a wrong because there's not a right. You know, wrong's defined by right. So, F it, we've all, there's no right. <laughs> it's all perspective. I just hit my, I just hit my ankle so hard. Oh my goodness, that hurt. I'm so curious if I, there was any pain on my face visible. I feel like I hid that real well, but there's probably a micro expression of my goodness, that hurt really bad. <laughs> That's crazy, though. I feel pain, and the first thing I do is suppress every... Like, I didn't even make... Like, my instincts instinctually tried to hide it as opposed to actually show it. It just said, tank that. LMAO, tank that. Hmm. We haven't been reversed. Each one of us is a fully realized individual. I just hate what that means with, like, alternate possibilities. Saying that the possibilities are as real as the... As reality? No! No! Don't think that! Because as soon as you think that, that means you're also responsible for your possibilities as much as you're responsible for reality, you know? Which then hoes you, and that's what Masculine Ogi's gonna freaking do to us. Masculine Ogi's gonna hoe us. That's what I was saying before this freaking episode started, bro. Oh my goodness. We're getting hoed. No, we're not a fully realized individuals. Shut up. We may be reflections, but we ain't, we ain't re illusions. Shasha. 
the version of me, bro. No, there's no you but you. You know what I'm saying? What you could have been isn't what you are. That's what makes what you are so important. Because it's not what you could have been. Don't, don't extend yourself that far. I extend self pretty far, alright? You are a lot of things for me, in my mind. You are not what you could have been. That's the entire point of the word could have. The inside out thing, I'm stuck to. Unfortunately, I'm still me. Good line. True and real. Shit. <laughs> uh, whatever. Yap, 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 yap. Get your foot off the chair. Um, the funny thing about the characteristics thing, I don't even know if they sent it this far, right? Where he was like, uh, I'd probably think it was mirrored, mirrored, mirrored characters. No, you're wrong. The funny thing is he would think that the mirrored characters, the reverse characters are the real characters. And then he would put it up to a mirror and think that the real characters are the reverse characters. Do you get what I mean? Because he would, he would, he wouldn't, for him, the, what, what would normally be considered mirror characters are the real characters. And so you put it in the mirror and then all of a sudden the mirrored characters, like the, the mirror, the one you see in the mirror in that moment that in reality would be the correct ones. They're not the correct ones because now they're the flip. Right now they're the mirrored ones. So it's all based on which was the which was the symbol first, right? Which is it's like calling out like this crazy like like thing of like what? Just because my reality what actually happened is the one I experienced first that makes it so that the other ones aren't real anymore? What do you mean? That's what Aragi's thinking. Shut up, Aragi. You're overthinking, bro. Say you've never heard of miners. Yeah, then all of a sudden it, it inverts. It inverts. The mirrored ones would be the real ones, and the real ones would be the mirrored ones as soon as you put it up to a mirror. You wouldn't, yeah, you wouldn't realize they're flipped. You would think that the flipped are the, or you would think the real are the flipped and vice versa. I'd only know that the characters are mirrored if I was, in, if I were in front of a mirror. No, but you wouldn't even know it then. You wouldn't even know it then, Arai. I feel like he takes this a different way than I'm taking it, bro. Because look, like, remember, like he said, what do you say here? My goodness, hurry up, hurry up. I'd only know that the characters were mirrored if I were in front of a mirror. You would never know. Because you would think, you wouldn't realize they were mirrored. Yeah, I mean, you, I guess, because you're taking, you're, you're, you're messing with the premise, Araragi. She says, if you sell the characters from, for Araragi killing me mirrored on a sheet of paper instead of a mirror. Well, I guess, wait, but you still know what Araragi kill me is supposed to look like? So you've never heard of mirrors, much less mirrored characters. Oh, so she, no, so he still knows of the characters. Okay, 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 okay. So he still knows of the characters, Aragi Kuyomi, but he's not aware of the concept of reflecting them. And so he would only realize the concept of it being the mirrored as soon as he puts it up to the, to the, to the, the mirror. Okay, no, now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. I thought we were, I thought we were getting rid of the idea that of the characters at all in the first place, not just the idea of them being mirrored. The much less mirrored characters threw me off. So, no, I understand. I understand now, Aragi. Yeah, you just see them as their own characters or their own scribbles, and you'd only realize that they're mirrored as soon as you put them up to a mirror and realize that the what what you consider to be Aragi Kyomi is actually in the mirror. All of a sudden, you're like, oh, wait a second, these are the flip of them. So what's the point with this? That um, the mirror, something doesn't look like it's real until I put it up to a mirror, then I realize that it's, or something doesn't look like it's mirrored it just looks like a bunch of nonsense until I put it up to a mirror. Then I realize that it's real. Other possibilities don't look real until I look at them and then they become real. Because the mirror is perception. The mirrors, I look at the mirror and then I realize mirrored, that mirrored things exist. And so the mirrored characters are representative of like all this, this mirror world mumbo jumbo. These like what could have been these like alternate paths, right? I keep saying alternate paths. I'm probably bringing that up too much because that's probably not real. But I don't like, I don't know if he's trying to play with alternate paths because then that's, that's me trying to fit it into his idea of judgment, which is for my, for my narrative. I'm thinking that it's going to go with Ogi getting brought, masculine Ogi getting brought in the real world. Um, this so crazy. <laughs> My goodness, gravy got. Yeah, so. Yeah, I mean, I said, I think I explained it the first time. Just rewatch what I said. If you, I don't want to explain it again, because I'm going to get confused with my wording. It makes sense in my head, and I think I said it correctly the first time. Let me just see how he uses this. Back then, I tried holding the pages up to the light. 
it didn't help, but that means in order to read the mirrored characters, I'd have to look on the other side. So he's trying to look, he's look on the other side is where he's at currently. He's in the mirror world looking at, on, no wait, I would look on the other side. So is he trying, he's confused about something in the real world and he's viewing it as indecipherable be, because it's a mirrored character. Something for him is not sticking. And so he's gone to the mirror world as a way to unstick it, as a way to make it make sense, make it make sense, I. Make it make sense, make it make, wait, that was important, what was that? Oh, it's just the word dream getting flipped. So yeah, he's on the other side looking at it so that he realizes that it's mirrored. What's the mirror? Is it Ogi? Is this leading up to Ogi again? Is it himself? The problem is there is no yourself in here, right? I mean, unless there is. There could be. What if we see him? What if we see Mirad Ar Ar Aragi and he's on, on in a lot of ways the same? And he's like, it'd be similar to Tsukihi because his reflection looks so similar in the OP. I mean, we could run into Aragi here, I guess. Another Aragi. They turn people inside out. That's weird to me. I don't like your implication on, I don't like what that implies about um, that like the inside out of Sengoku is her oddity form, right? The inside out of Hanakawa is her metal cap form. No, those are things we fix. That doesn't like, like it, we haven't, Hanakawa hasn't buried the metal cat inside of her. She's a, she's a, she, she's absorbed it. It's part of her. It's not like there's an inside layer of Hanakawa in a or an outside layer of Hanakawa in a deeper inside of she's really the metal cat and we just locked that in. No, 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 no. We dealt with that. It's just Hanakawa now, right? And so, but but how he's seeing it is that the inside out of normal Hanakawa is the oddity Hanakawa with metal cat still as an active problem. No, like that's not how. I don't get that. You're. So, who is this supposed to be? Is this supposed to be Socrates? That looks like Rick on the wall, but I don't remember Socrates going Eureka. I thought that's Einstein, bro. That ain't look like Einstein. And this, I know this ain't Plato because Humboy's not buff as hell, okay? <laughs> Shout out Plato and freaking wrestling. The girls I've encountered were by no means reversed or mirrored. Man, I want to meet normal Sodachi, bro. I don't take any of these these as representative of their normal characters, like, at all. It's just, like, I take this as fully Araragi manifestation business. Like, you're inside out. Inside out of Sodachi isn't happy Sodachi. That's literally just if she got adopted Sodachi. That's not her inside out. That's, like, it's falling into the trap of, of, of viewing the inside as, like, something separate than what you actually are. No, you're all you, bro. Like, like, Sodachi, Sodachi. It doesn't matter. Oh my goodness. Sodachi is Sodachi. Math is math. Shout out The Incredibles too. It wasn't as good as Incredibles 1. I don't like Inside Out, bro. I don't like Inside Out. Like, I'm disagreeing with Araragi here. I'm not disagreeing with the story. I think the story's playing this cool, but... Araragi, I disagree with you, bro. The Inside Out of Karen is short. What are you smoking? <laughs> Like, she actually feels small. Like, what are you yammering about, bro? Yeah, and I'm six foot seven on the inside. Like, eight? <laughs> I don't even know what these are. Bro, can we meet Kamburu's mom? Don't cut to the ED. I don't even want to analyze this. I might see this, save this for next time so that we do OP on one, ED on the other. That's just, that's pacing. That's pacing. I messed that up, though. I meant to do them both at once. I'll do it next time, though. Um, the Odi got flipped, right? The, or the color got flipped? Let me, I have Kuyomi, the bath scene up, so I can actually check, which is cool. No, wait. The color was always blue. I thought the color was red. <laughs> I made it up. But no, yeah, we've seen the flipped. Oh, the lighting's flipped, too. Look, the lighting in, in the um, Zoku shot is coming from the inside and the lamps are off. Whereas in the, in the actual Kuyomi episode, the lighting was on the outside and the doors were closed. So that's cool. But yeah, they're... Their positions changed, their colors didn't. The red one is still the one holding the stick. Okay, now that I've flipped them enough times, which one's the real one? Ugibi, ugibi. Yeah, I don't know, you think you're cool for that? No, the real one's the one it actually is. Triple as, okay. Just because you oddity yourself into a mirror world doesn't make this place real, bro. I mean, I guess it's real, but like, I don't freaking know. It's like real, but it's an illusion you made. It's a construct, bro. It's not reflective of reality. It's reflective of whatever construct you've made. 
Which I guess you could say you are reality. Oh my goodness. Oh wait, my brain. I can't. I'm gonna puke. I'm actually gonna throw up. Constructs are reality because they're they're based off of real things, which are humans. Why would constructs not be real? Just because it emergent. Do emergent properties? How real is an emergent property? I mean, it's constructed out of real elements because it's from a person. You know, or if. Uh, why would it be an illusion? Oh my goodness. Maybe free maybe free will is real, bro. <laughs> because if I, if I imagine it real, and my imagining, well, how real is your imagination? Oh, frick. How real is your imagination, bro? <laughs> bro. How real is your imagination? Shut up! Watch the show! <laughs> yammering! Stop yammering! Ooh, when you're destined to be with. Yeah, I just watched it. I just watched Kriomi again because I'm a good Monogatoria student, okay? I swear. Put me in a college lecture. I could lecture on this show. Probably wouldn't be perfect. I'd probably get things wrong in it. And, and, and dude, the comments are literally the students in the class going, Um, excuse me, uh, Mr. Cubed. Mr. Professor Cubed. What about this? And you know what I mean? It's literally that. And then I'm just like, and I'm the professor being like, I don't freaking know, bro. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Which isn't a good way for me to feel because guess what? I haven't seen the, it's like, I haven't finished seeing the show. So for me to feel like I'm in the expert position where I need to be the one with the right, the right take being the lecturer is a really skewed way to view this. That's not a good way for me to think. Because y'all are the ones, if anything, that are in closer to, this, to the teacher role because y'all are the ones... That's crazy. I've never called myself out on that before because I've thought a couple of times like, yeah, I could give a lecture on Monogatari easy. You know, when I'm chilling in class and I can't and I'm not focusing on what they're talking about because I'm thinking about Monogatari. It's happened before. I literally think to myself, yeah, I could give a lecture like on this, like easy clap, bro. But no, I'm not giving a like as much as it's similar to me giving a lecture here. I'm not the one with the knowledge. I'm the one. I'm like the one freaking out thinking and like I'm a loose cannon just firing, bro. All right, and even if I fire in the right direction more times than I don't, which you can beg the question of if I even do, you can ask the question if I even do, right? Like y'all are the ones that actually know the things. So it's like y'all read the textbook and I'm the one presenting on the textbook, but I haven't even finished reading it. I'm presenting as I'm reading the textbook and y'all already read the full thing. That's a crazy relationship. Why do I feel like I need to be right? I do feel like I need to be right. I feel like I get like, it's like, it's like a, it's like me being stupid if I'm wrong. That sucks. I need to accept my wrongness more. Maybe I don't. Who cares? Oh my oh. Smoking that Ogie pack. <laughs> Anyways. He's like, oh my goodness, a Kambaru who isn't a vulgar erotic masochist. And then it's just monkey. Oh my oh. I got so thrown off with the like Sodachi thing. I was like, bro, this is Sodachi, boo. <laughs> no, it's not Sodachi. You're literally tripping. The OP, it was everyone had their reflection. Her reflection was the monkey. Stop doubting yourself, bro, and lock in. Lock the lock in, bro. That's why when this wasn't reversed, I was like, I was, my first thought was, is, is Sodachi left-handed? Or like, you know what I mean? That doesn't even make sense because it's not about the handedness. It's about the monkey paw-edness, the handedness of the monkey paw. So yeah, shut up. I just don't, like, what do you mean by inside out? I don't like that conceptualization, Aragi. This is not a realistic female figure. Massive honkers, crazy hourglass. You are giving the wrong beauty standards to women. Don't pause there. Bad. How late is it? Oh my goodness, it's 2 a.m. How did it get so late? Oh my goodness, I've been here forever. <laughs> I'm joking, calm down. Um, yammer, yammer, yammer. I don't know anything, I only know what I know. Um, this is how I feel all the time, by the way. This was freaking real, bro. I didn't even realize it was playing. I thought I had it paused. <laughs> um, that being Sodachi, I kind of thought it when she was walking down the stairs. I thought it was Senjo for a moment, but no, I should have stuck to my guns and just called it a Sodachi like right here. This is what I was thinking. It was This was when the thought it's Sodachi first appeared when we were slowly going up to reveal. It's like, yeah, we're going to do a big reveal for her, obviously. So yeah, that did that. Yeah, the OP completely made me not get caught off guard by that. We're chilling. OP literally made me go like, wait, what? What was it like? It was literally like I was like over here like a like a 
I was like, it'll be crazy when we see her in the real world. And I was like, wait a second. Wait, we are going to see her. You know what I mean? It really be like that, bro. Because they're not going to show it off. Like, it's it's such a fun premise to see. Like, from a storytelling perspective. It's so fun to see, like, all the, um... Wait, did I call her getting adopted beforehand? That's a crazy thing, bro. I the, my, my method of yammering, my method of yapping is so fast that I don't fully dedicate to memory everything I say. Which is why it's so nice to have it, like, in a video format where I, like, literally could go back and check if I called her getting adopted or not. I don't think I did, but I could have. I definitely called her being nice. I don't think I fully dug into why she would be nice, though. But who knows? I don't dedicate my own yaps to mem memory a lot of the time. It's one of my troubles. I need to get better at dedicating my, my thoughts to memory. But yeah, this is... Yeah, this was real. Her calling it a lie is so true, though. It's like, yeah, it is all a big lie. And so I'm really worried that Araragi is going to not see them as the lie they are because he's trying to say that they are based in the truth. Like, they are not reflective illusions. They are real things. It's just they're inside. Shut up. No. Like, so, like, Kuchinawa. I'll call you Kuchinawa. You're wrong. Both aren't correct. There is no other side to the mirror. The mirror is fully dependent on reality. Right? There is no mirror world. This was, this entire existence is born out of a moment of time. It was called out as that too, right? Where it doesn't make sense. That's what we talked about in episode one. It doesn't make sense on its own, you know? It was born out of a moment in time. It's not a tangential line that's followed us up to this point. That was one of the questions, right? I questioned, has this thing been running concurrent our entire time? No, it just doesn't work, right? It doesn't actually work that all these alternate things would be lining up the way they would be with, with how this has all played out, right? There are simply the what ifs for each individual event that Araragi is wrapped up and put into one situation and said, uh, dang, are these real or not? And they're saying, yeah, we're real. And Araragi's about to, and Ogi's going to say, yeah, you should feel bad about like their problems in what could have been as well, right? The alternate possibilities and your alternate failures and your alternate successes, blah, blah, blah. you also should feel for those. And then Ogi's going to freaking latch that onto him. And then Ogi, and Araragi's going to latch Ogi onto him. And then they're both going to go to the real world. And then they're going to double it, bro. Like, could you not do that, bro? No, Nereus. Like, I'm sick of it, bro. No, Araragi, this ain't real. It's not real, man. You can't keep doing this. Sodachi feet. The Sodachi feet aren't real. Like, that's the crazy thing. These aren't real feet. Your being all nice to me isn't real. She's the one that knows. Listen to her. All right? This what if doesn't work. This all feels like one big lie because it is one big lie. It's not one big lie. It's a bunch of lies that Araragi sewed together. Because guess what? This is what you have to realize, you stupid fool, Araragi. You silly, stupid fool. This is what you have to realize, okay? The alternate paths are just as murky as the surface of the water. The alternate paths are just as murky as the memory. All right? These could have beens, these what ifs, these inside outs are just as murky. They are literally just, you are just forcing your current, like, guilts, your current feelings onto these to, like, define them and give them concreteness. That is not real. You are falling for the illusion of Kuyomi Bath. And I don't know to what degree you're aware. Surely you are, but you're just gonna avoid it like a freaking hoe. And you're gonna freaking grab masculine Ogi. And bring you with her, me. I can't do it, man. These aren't real. You don't need to be responsible for them. You don't need to feel bad for this. This is not something you need to self-critique for. Self-critique is based in yourself. All right? This is not yourself. This there could have been is not you. I'm done. I got none to say to this hoe anymore. All right? I've given you my view. That's where I'm at, Aragi. Like... He was better at her in the math. This looks so pink to me, bro. I'm saying I'm in the show. Hachikuchi was jumping on me earlier, and now this looks pink to me. I know it's just graphite, but the lighting makes it look pink. That is pink, bro. That's pink. I'm in the show. Pink Cube was in the show twice, all right? But even reversed, he was really good at the math problems. That's crazy. He's just pretending that he can't read the books at that point. Shut up. But yeah, what is the... Re why does what is confusing him about the real world that he feels the need to step into the mirror so that he can see it read it better right because i think that's what he's partially perhaps doing that he wants to you know what i mean that's kind of the, the the idea i was getting later here i thought i saw ogi for a second i didn't see ogi i think that made me think i, it was, I thought this was ogi for a split second or something um 
I don't remember where that thought came from. So this conversation about like, um, and yeah, in order to read the mirror things, I'd have to look on the other side. He's on the other side now. So what is he, why is he here? What is he trying to read? I think the what ifs, I think the what ifs is what he's trying to read. He's trying to read the what ifs. So he's jumped onto the other side because the what ifs are mirrored because they're not something you can actually apprehend. So he's jumped onto the upper, other side to read them, but you have to realize that they're ifs. They're not real. You stupid fool, idiot, fool, fool, idiot, fool. I'm done. Get me out of this. Get me out of this. Get me out of this. Episode two of Zokimonogatari. On to the next episode three should be exciting. Um, crazy episode, bro. Crazy episode. Crazy OP. That OP, I feel like I watched the entire season when I watched this OP. I freaking feel like I'm there, bro. I'm like so locked in on this freaking Oogie idea, masculine Oogie being brought in and like all the things, like the all the ramifications of that, that like, I'm actually gonna be surprised if that doesn't happen, which will be interesting. So I'm, I'm excited to see where this goes. Episode three of Zoko Aware Monogatari should be next. On to the next, should be exciting. Of course, of course, of course, if you like the video, like the video, subscribe. If you are new, blah, 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 comment below if you say or join the Discord, talk to me or other. Aware Monogatari fans there. But until then, until next episode, that's all I've got. We'll be seeing you then. Peace.